Tip top, hello hip hop. This your man Raynard, dude. You tuning in to DIRadioCast.com. Believe that, shout it. Say word. Why you keep giving your music away for free? How you supposed to get money? We are everything that we doing right now. No trend sets us or locks us down. Unstoppable sound. Palms bloody and open for you to see God's breath quailing. Do you believe? So a lot of these opportunities started. John taught me this a long time ago. Because I always, I'm a marketer too. And I was always trying to figure out how can I predict the next trend. I'm watching an African American community that is the trend set term. But how can we really shape the next trend? And I found out, wait a minute, African Americans are really not shaping trends. We're just popularizing the carrot that was put out there to make us shape it. All right, this is Africa Out Loud, DIRadioCast.com, and we are here with our mobile video clips from the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce Access Granted event. Tell me, what's your name? Uh, hello, everyone. Asante Bradford. You were one of the speakers today, on today's event. Um, now, tell us what you do. Sure, I'm with the uh, Georgia Department of Economic Development and our global commerce area, and I do digital entertainment, interactive entertainment, digital media, video gaming, animation, all that. Digital entertainment, what is that? I mean, most people don't get it. Digital entertainment is basically, again, when you think of film, music, all of the, basically the arts, you're basically bringing the digital content to it, which basically means on the internet distribution type of platform. So again, now we know with digital cameras as opposed to regular cameras, as you're doing with the mobile phone there and your digital camera now, these kind of methods of communication, and as well as displaying all type of uh, entertainment, which is basically what we're doing right here. Okay, now, there is a big conversation in Congress about digital literacy. Do you think that African Americans and minorities are participating holistically in this whole new industry that's being developed? I do. I actually, I think we're a big part of it. I just don't think we understand exactly how we're doing it and what we're doing. But when we're doing exactly what you're doing right now with our mobile phones, when we're doing texting, when we're on the internet, our numbers are increasing on the internet. Now, those type of things are digital literacy, and we're doing it. I just don't think we have understand actually the concept of what we're doing or even know the ramifications of what we're doing. And I think there's always an educational component to bring along with that that will let us know that, hey, we are actually players in this and we're big consumers of this. We just don't know what we're doing. Okay, so how do we counteract that? How do we, what, what is the resolve to get people to understand the power that they possess digitally? Just what you're doing. I think we need to do a bit more education on it. I think we need to get uh, communicate, do more forms like we are here today. These type of things are great information. And we need to do it again probably on a, on a smaller scale and maybe to a younger audience as well. Uh, the great news, again, going back to digital literacy, when you're talking about this year was the first year high school graduates grew up on the Internet. So this is stuff that's nothing new to them. When you talk about digital literacy, I'm thinking you're almost talking to an older audience because they may not be as affluent in these type of uh, gadgets, tablets, things that the kids now, mobile phones that we are, uh, that you grew up on basically. All right, once again, tell us your name and how they can contact you if they're interested in your organization. Sure, uh, Asante Bradford again. Um, you can reach me at the uh, Georgia Department of Economic Development. Uh, email address is abradford, uh, B-R-A-D-F-R-D at georgia.org. Are you on Twitter? I am. Um, Asante Bradford, twitter.com slash Asante Bradford. There we go. Once again, this is Africa A Lot of DIRadioCast.com, and we're live at Access Granted, the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce. Tip top, hello hip hop. This your man Raynard, dude. You tuning in to DIRadioCast.com. Believe that, shout it, say word. <laughs> Why you keep giving your music away for free? How you supposed to get money? We are everything that we doing right now. What trend sets us or locks us down? Unstoppable sound. Palms bloody and open for you to see God's breath quailing. Do you believe?